All right, where we left off, I'm just trimming this hat a little bit so it's a little bit cleaner on the edge. And I'm doing that with just an old compositing technique, right? I'm just subtracting pixels. And so I'm using this ellipse and I'm sorting it so that it trims the edge. And then I'm using it as a stencil for an opaque eraser, 100% hard-edged eraser. And then I can trim those edges so they look a little bit better. Yep, and that does. Okay, so now I've got my next frame and now I follow my blue steps here. So I go to my topmost visible layer. I scroll down all the way to the bottom and while holding down shift, click that last layer. and that will select all of the layers. Then I hold down Option on a Mac and I go to Layer, Merge Layers. Now something I've noticed with a lot of you, when I do that step, your menu isn't easy to get to and that's because you're zoomed in with your tools to a certain extent that when you hold down Option and then you say Layer, let me see if I can match what I'm seeing from some of you. you have to like scroll down like this to get to it, which is really annoying. So just to, to fix that, just click on your browser window and do Command minus to shrink your tools so they're no bigger than you need. So when you click on your browser window and you do plus and minus, it doesn't zoom in on your image, it just makes your tools bigger or smaller, just like you are increasing the size of a web page. But when you click on your image and then use plus or minus, it will zoom in to, your, to yours. So if you're having trouble with any of the drop-down menus, you know, you want them to be easily accessible, not like floating down under the, the screen. All right, so now I've done what's called a non-destructive merge. It's all on this top layer. That top layer is automatically selected. So next I do Command-A to select all of it, Command-C to copy it all, click on the stage, and Command-V to paste it in. And if ever I want to make sure they match, the stage and the assets and the way I'm looking at them, I can always hit Command-0 to center them on the frame. That's why I have at the very bottom here, Command-0 to center your files. All right. Now, this happens in PhotoP as well. Why do the colors look more vibrant when they're made of multiple layers than when I copy them over to my stage? And I think that's just because when you merge the files, it just takes out that extra saturation. So that's just a little glitch in Photo P, but it's not gonna matter for your animation. Everything's gonna look good. All right, so now to test my animation in a really informal way, I just click through these layers in my stage. These are like the photos I've taken of my little puppet show in my phone. I can just scroll through my photos and it looks like time is passing. All right, next. It would be so easy if I could just play this forward and backwards, right? But that wouldn't be a transformation. That would be a movement test. Why is it not a transformation? Well, because at any moment I could go back to the beginning, right? Like that works, that works, that works. A transformation means you can't go right back to the beginning without the, the change having some consequences. So you can't just have a beginning and an end. You need a beginning, a middle, and an end. So my transformation shows not just the hat being pulled down, but the mustache changing when the hat is going back up. So before I just do the simple animation or setting of my assets with the hat going from here back to up here, I need to actually change the mustache a little bit. So I need to go back to my assets. And this is why I did it with duplicates. I have to reset it to the hat at this level. And now I need to change my mustache. So I have it all cleaned and labeled so I can easily make a duplicate of my mustache layer, turn off my original mustache. And now what do I wanna do 
let me see, I'm going to color these, sorry, remember, yellow. So these are the ones that go with the mustache. And turn them off just so I don't have to look at them right now. And I'll color this one yellow as well. So just being organized, knowing how to build your stuff. Okay, now what do I want to do with this mustache? I've made a duplicate. One thing I know I want to do is take some like mouse bites out of it. So I'm going to take my circular selection tool, hold down shift, get perfect circles, move those circles in, and I'm just going to hit delete. I'm going to move it over here, hit delete. Okay, and now I'm going to do little circles. Move those little bite marks. Delete, move it, delete, move it, delete. Okay. Same thing here. Let's try a different shape circle this time or a different size. Slightly bigger. Delete. You can make your stuff any way you like. I'm just showing little bites taken out of this mustache. Little niblets. Okay. So I don't like that last one. Let's move it back. And then I'm going to do a little one over here, right at the tip. And another one up here. And I'm just going to abuse this mustache in this animation. So this is the first step. It's got little holes bitten out. Maybe it'd be nice to have maybe like a little hole punched right here. Now, to really make that obvious, maybe I add a drop shadow to that layer. And then walk it back. So you can really see the shadow under those bites. Like that. Now, what did that look like? Yeah, that works. And then I might need to erase slightly this outline that got darker with the drop shadow that I don't necessarily want to get darker. So I'm just erasing it slightly so it matches underneath. Good. All right, so now I've changed the mustache. Now I turn back on my other assets, all the hat ones. And so this now becomes my next frame, Command-0 to center it. So it goes from that now to this. All right, so how do I merge them? I follow the blue steps, topmost visible layer, you can even just use the very top layer if you want. Scroll all the way to the bottom, hold down shift, select it all. And now say image, nope, hold down option, say layer, merge layers. It will give you a non-destruct merge at the very top. Command A to select it all. Command C to copy it all. Go to your stage, Command V to paste it in as your next animation frame. Then Command S to save your stage. Now I hit Command D on my assets and delete that merge layer. Command D, delete that merge layer. So I just have all my components. And now I'm going to go one step back. Like so. 
And now it fully reveals the mustache, but I also need the rest of my, my guy. So I need his nose and I need his monocle. All right. So before I move it over, I can always check, does this make sense as my next frame? Yes, it does. So topmost layer, scroll down, bottom, hold down option, say layer merge visible or merge layers, sorry. <clears throat> then command A, command C, click on my stage, command V. And what's hard is it's hard to notice what's happening with your animation while you're looking at the eyeballs. So you could use your group members next to you and ask them to click through your eyeballs here just so you can see the timing and be able to just focus on the animation. But it's very helpful. So you see if you missed something, if you need to redo a frame. So now I'm getting to where I'm revealing it with the bytes. I'm almost to my fourth keyframe. And that's an easy one to build because it just means I need to first deselect from my assets and delete the merged layer. And then it just means, nope, not that one. Not that one, where is it? I just need to turn on the hat, right? That's all it took, just turning on the right layers. And I make sure that makes sense. Yes, indeed. And same process with the blue. Select all the layers, holding down shift. You can go top to bottom, bottom to top. Hold down option, layer, merge layers. Command A to select all, Command C to copy it. Click on the stage, Command V to paste it in. Ah, but notice. Problem. I pasted it in, but I pasted it in down here because it will always paste in above the layer you have selected. So you want to make sure on your stage you're staying selected on the topmost layer. Otherwise, they'll come in in the wrong order. So if you're playing through the animation with your by turning on and off your eyeballs, make sure you end with selecting at the very top. And then I hit Command S to save my stage. So now I've told the first four frames, almost halfway through my animation. Okay, next, pretty simple. I just go backwards because I'm going to pull the hat down again. So what do I do? I deselect and delete that merged layer. And I'm just going to put these in an order that makes more sense. I turn on the hat assets. That makes sense. And then I turn off the hat assets that I don't need anymore. Right? And that should be the next layer. Next frame. Makes sense. Scroll down to the bottom, hold down shift, select them all, hold down option, say layer, merge layers. Command A to copy, uh, to select it all. Command C to copy it all. Click on my stage, Command V to paste it in, Command S to save. All right. Now I go to the next one. But I have to deselect and delete that merge layer. I have to remind myself which way I'm going. Yeah, so now I'm pulling down again. And really, I could just repeat these exact frames. So there are ways you can kind of save time. But it's always good to remember your assets. <clears throat> 